if I'm introducing myself, my name is Manu Kache. I'm a drummer from France. And uh, Laura from uh, Dwem Quest uh, asked me to define what's being a good drummer. What is to be a good drummer? Uh, actually, it's a very hard question. I don't really know how to explain it. But maybe if you have the luck or the opportunity to play with a, a great bass player by your side, then you're going to sound like a good drummer. Uh, otherwise, it's playing in time. That's the most uh, important thing. Um, just try to be yourself, not trying to copy anyone else, because uh, if you're copying someone, you know, uh, the artist or someone else, producer, you may think, let's get the, the real man. And uh, uh, so to be creative, uh, to be uh, yourself, playing in time, uh, and get your ears wide open. Because when you play live, I mean, even in a studio, but when you play live, so many things are happening. So you can just like grab things, and it is gonna, it's gonna help you to create things. Because you're gonna take the things and just like translate them in uh, in a drumming code. So it's uh, that's a, that's a good thing for a drummer. Uh, otherwise, in a studio, I guess you used to play with clicks. So uh, that's the main thing. The the good practicing is. Uh, is to try to play ahead of the click and to play behind, kind of a laid back, still with the same uh, tempo, same BPM. And uh, influences, Laura from Drum Quest asked me about influences. It's hard for me to answer because I've, I've got millions of drummers that I like, you know, like from Tony Williams, Buddy Rich to, uh, to Steve Gadd, Jeff Carroll, who were very close, who were quite good friends, and, you know, Harvey Mason, Billy Cobbin. Many, 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 a lot of them. But when I was younger, when I started doing uh, playing drums and, and listening to music, I was really into uh, singers, like soul singers, like you know, like Donny Hathaway, Otis Redding, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, and in in uh, in uh, musical formers like like musicians like Herbie Hancock, uh, Miles Davis, Coltrane, Monk, and I and I remember I, I had the headphones and I had a Hi-Fi system when I was playing along with the records, and I was just trying to uh, to fit in, of course, and, and and to follow the vibe, but just to to get things, you know, of my own personality, trying to uh, to uh, not to improvise, but just like to uh, to get ideas different from what was playing on the record. So I get, you know, that that was for me the the the, the most uh, influences from when I was a a, a kid, and. Um, what else what I could tell you as well. Yeah, for the drum community, uh, I know, you know, like where we're just coming from, you know, like that weird period is hard. And, and plus the music has changed. Of course, you know, there's a lot of loops and samples and just like two chords and one sample and that's it. And it's hard for drummers when you try to be creative and just original. But anyway, you know, uh, I remember doing this before and playing, you know, in front of young guys. Maybe it was the first time that they heard a drum kit, a drummer just in front of them. And I remember that the, 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 what I've seen, I mean, it was just like, it was unbelievable for them because they felt it. It was so powerful and so strong. They were like, you know, they had a huge smile on their face and they loved it. So I guess we got, you know, we still have many years uh, playing the drums, even if uh, the production nowadays is more into, uh, you know, like urban music. Uh, I think drums are going to be there, uh, you know, organic is a resonance with the human being, so you can't let that down. And otherwise, uh, advices, I don't have many advices, I already spoke about it, just try to be yourself. So just try, I know it's hard when you're young to be confident, but just try to uh, to think that when you play something, it's not just like uh, by surprise, it's the real thing, it comes from deep. And sometimes, you know, friends around you when you rehearse or, or musicians around you when you work, gonna say, ah, I'm not sure about this, could sound better or like this guy as a reference, blah, blah, blah. Maybe, but when you come up with an idea, it, it's your idea, it come from your head and from your heart, and, and you have to go for it. That's the personality. And of course, that's gonna make you different from another drummer. And of course, that's gonna make a sound. And uh, and of course, people when they're gonna listen, not the whole planet, but some people are gonna listen to it and say, that's what I like, I want this drummer because it sounds like that, he plays like, this, the feel is different, the groove as well. So that's that would be my advice. Even if it's hard to be confident when you're young, just like 
keep on doing what you think is right. And the last thing is uh, Laura asked me that too, if you could subscribe to her Laura Dannon channel, just go for it, you know, check it out. And if you feel like it, you know, I think that would help her and that would help as well uh, the, the drummers community. So it was nice uh, talking to you. I wish you good luck. And I'm sure we'll meet, you know, somewhere on this planet when everything is going to come back and it's going to come back. And uh, enjoy. Thank you. Bye.